Hello, everyone. I'm Xu Chenchen from Imperial College London. I'm talking today about rate splitting multiple access for multi antenna joint communication and radar transmission. My talk will be in five parts introduction, problem formulation, ADMM framework, numerical results, and conclusion. Let's get to the first part. In introduction, I will first illustrate the background of our work. Nowadays, there is an urgent problem that the radar and communication systems are competing for spectrum, which causes severe spectrum congestion. To be specific, the radar systems work from the higher bands down to the C and S bands, using the wider band signal to achieve higher resolution. The communication systems also work from the lower band up to the C and S band, using the wider band signal for the higher rates. These two facts makes the C and S band very crowded. There are two possible solutions at present. The first is to come up with new spectrum management regulations. However, this is a short-term solution because the spectrum is limited and will run out when more and more radar and communication systems using wider band signals appear. Instead, there is also a promising solution, which is communication and radar spectrum sharing. This is a long-run choice because it allows both communication and radar systems to work in the same band at the same time. There are two main research fields in spectrum sharing. The first is coexistence of existing radar and communication devices. People study from single antenna application to multi-antenna applications, and from one side separated design to the both sides joint design. Another research field is dual function radarcom. Early literature studies making MIMO radar detect in main lobe and communicate in side lobe. One problem is the limitation of the communication rates due to the long radar pulse intervals. Then the latest paper studies making the multi-user, multi-antenna base station detect the targets with transmitting only the information streams. Following this path, we do our research. We first consider that the major problem in Radarcom is the interference management, but rate splitting is a very powerful strategy to overcome this. Also, rate splitting has already been successfully applied to multi-antenna sweep, which is very similar to the application of Radarcom. Motivated by these two aspects, we propose a new Radarcom system enabling rate splitting in our paper, which works as a base station communicating with downlink users, and as also a co-located MIMO radar detecting targets with a desired beam pattern. This system transmits private streams and the common stream to fulfill the dual function. The precoders are designed to maximize WSR and minimize the radar beam pattern approximation square arrow under the average power constraint at each antenna. We also propose an ADMM-based framework to solve the intractable optimization problem. Okay, then let's get into the problem formulation. The system model of our Radarcom is very similar to the downlink base station with multi-antenna assisted by rate splitting. Our system has NT antennas, K users, and the P0 power budget. We can see that the transmit signal contains the com common stream and the private streams, while the received signal at user K also contains these parts. Then we represent the signal to interference and noise ratio for decoding at user K as follows. When we decode the common stream, we treat the private streams as interference. And when we decode the private stream for user K, we treat the other private streams as interference. Then we can represent the achievable rates for both the common stream and the private streams at user K. Also, don't forget the common stream rate constraint here. Then, 
after introducing the communication metric, which are the achievable rates, we are going to introduce the radar metric. For the MIMO radar transmission model in our paper, it is proved that to improve the detection SINR, which is an important metric for radar, is equivalent to design a desired transmit beam pattern. The MIMO radar beam pattern design problem can be summarized typically as this. We can see the objective function is the beam pattern approximation square error. Here, PD theta m is the desired beam pattern, and the other part corresponding to the transmit convariance matrix Rx is the real transmit beam pattern. We want to make them as similar as possible via a least square function. The first constraint is very common in radar applications. It limits the average transmit power at each antenna to be the same. Now, after we represent WSR and the metric base for radar, we can formulate the optimization problem by combining these two metrics in the objective function and introducing all the constraints. To be clear, we denote the communication parts in this optimization problem in blue and the radar parts in red. We can see clearly in this problem that it is highly non-convex and very difficult to solve. This is because the objective function contains a sum of log function and also a quartic form. What's more, we also have a quadratic equality in our constraint. All these non-convex and uh, complex parts make the problem intractable. To solve this intractable problem, we propose a solving framework using ADMM. The motivation is to split the original problem into the communication part and the radar part, which all can be solved by referring to the classic solving algorithms in communication and radar fields. Then we reformulate the problem by putting all the blue parts and red parts separately in the objective function. However, to make a connection between the blue and red parts, we introduce an equality constraint. Now, using ADMM, the problem can be converted into the three-step iterative updates. By doing so, we can solve each update via typical algorithms in communication and the radar fields. After solving this problem, we then go to the numerical results. First, we illustrate the settings. We consider a very simple scenario for verification in our paper. The parameters is set as follow. We want to also specify the initialization problem here. The precoders P is designed via MRC method and the DAW variable D is randomly generated following the Gaussian distribution. The channels of the users are generated obeying the complex Gaussian distribution. We also denote the equivalent amplitude of the channels as follow. The target stands at the zero degree in the azimuth angle. We can see in the equivalent amplitude that both the channels have a strong coloration value at this angle. This means no matter what private stream we use to form a beam at this place, it will cause very strong interference to another. This means at the zero degree, there is a strong conflict between the radar beam pattern forming task and the communication task. Then, in the following two figures, we show the transmit beam pattern of our proposed radarcom systems. We can see that in SDMA radarcom, 
Graphic stream for user 1 take the major role in forming a beam at 0 degree. While in RSMA, the common stream take this task. This results from the conflict of the radar and communication tasks. We can see SDMA Radarcom choose the private stream for user 1 to form a beam at the zero degree. This is because the channel of user 1 is stronger at this place. However, by doing so, user 2 will face a very strong interference caused by user 1's private stream. In contrast, we can see in RSMA Radarcom that the common stream take the major role at the zero degree. This is because the common stream can be decoded by both users instead of causing any interference to any user. As a result, the interference caused by the conflict of the radar and communication task can be mitigated by the common stream enabled by RSMA. We can see in the table that the WSR of RSMA Radarcom is much higher than that of SDMA Radarcom in these two figures. Also, we can see that the common stream make considerable contribution to the WSR in RSMA Radarcom. To provide a convincing comparison between RSMA Radarcom and SDMA Radarcom, we vary the regularization parameter lambda to get the trade-off of both systems between the communication metric WSR and the radar metric beam pattern approximation MSE. We can see in the trade-off that RSMA Radarcom has a much better performance than SDMA Radarcom. This verifies our analysis about the benefits brought by the common stream enabled in RSMA Radarcom. Based on the above numerical results, we can draw the conclusions. First, the proposed Radarcom systems and the solving ap approaches based on ADMM are both effective. Second, RSMA outperforms SDMA when applied to Radarcom systems. Third, the common stream helps to mitigate the interference caused by the conflict of the communication and the radar tasks in Radarcom systems. Okay, that's all of my presentation and thank you for your listening.